So you may have just picked up your iPhone and you might be trying to figure out some of the best ways to go ahead and basically save the most amount of battery life on your iPhone. Now on iOS 16, there has been lots of changes. So I want to explain like five different ways you can save the most amount of battery life on your phone. Now the very first thing I would recommend doing is on your lock screen. If you are somebody who rocks a lot of widgets on your you know, main screen, this can possibly cause the most amount of battery drain and you would not even believe how much battery it can actually drain by keeping a lot of widgets. Now it's not always like the most amount of battery to be honest, that might be overhyping it a little bit, but in particular with any iPhone, with iOS 14, we got these new widgets and we'll get into that in a second. But with iOS 16, with these lock screen widgets, the more you have, the more battery it can possibly take up. So the best thing you can do for the most part is by going through and clicking customize and removing or reducing the amount of widgets that you're using on your main display. So if you you know if you have a very very you know important widget then obviously keep it. But if not, you might be better off if you just go through and just kind of delete a widget. And you can do that by basically clicking, you know, on the widget itself, clicking on the minus button and removing the widget that way. You can also do the exact same thing if you just go through, you know, you can add another widget here if you want to, and then you can go and remove it whichever way you want to. And that's probably what I would recommend doing, is just removing the widgets or at least reducing the amount of widgets you're using. Now, another thing that is very new to iOS 16 is with the wallpapers. This is another very common thing that a lot of people will probably end up doing now, and that is by having a lot of these wallpapers in the background. So what is the problem here? Well, for one, not only for each individual you know, wallpaper that you're adding, you're getting all these new you know, wallpaper features, maybe it's like a new little earth thing, maybe it's a new wallpaper like this, but the other thing is you may have your own widgets associated with that panel as well. So the problem here is now not only do you have like a new wallpaper, a new thing completely entirely for your phone, but you also basically have this new whole entire like different system on your phone that you'll just have a bunch of different wallpapers. So the best thing I'd recommend doing here is by going through and pretty much just deleting the widgets that you're no longer using. And this, in my opinion, is one of the most important things you can do as well. So just go through, remove the you know wallpapers you're not using anymore. And again, that will help alleviate some of the battery drain as well. Now coming back to your main page, another big thing that I kind of mentioned early on in this video is removing the widgets that you have on your specific wallpaper. So here, like I mentioned before, you will have a bunch of different things going on with your phone. You'll have a bunch of widgets. So the best thing you can do for the most part is by going through and just deleting not only the widgets on your side panel here, but also deleting any widgets that you're no longer using on your home screen. On some of my iPhones, I would actually have just random widgets laying around. And again, that would just cause so much more battery drain than I need to basically have on my phone. Even on my personal phone, I don't really have too many widgets. So the best thing you can do here is just go ahead, reduce the amount of widgets you have on your display, and that can help alleviate the situation as well. Now another way you can go ahead and reduce battery drain on iOS 16 is by going through and actually updating the main application that you use or that you use on your main device. So what this means is basically going into your app store like this, you want to go ahead and find your specific applications. So you can go and click on your profile icon here and you'll basically be able to find all the applications you have on your phone within your app store right here. And what I would recommend doing is just going through and updating all the applications that you basically use. Now, why is this important? Well, a lot of these applications may be optimized for iOS 16. So what you can do here is just update these applications and that can also help kind of alleviate the situation as well. So that is another way to go ahead and fix this situation. And that is basically one of the, another really important thing you can do. Now, finally, this is a big one because this is probably going to take the most amount of time for anybody, but any situation I personally had where my phone, like I updated it and the battery drain is going crazy, the best thing I was able to do is to back up all my data on my iPhone. So just go through, back up all the information that I have on my phone. And then I would basically go through and just update. And what I would basically do is go through, factory reset my iPhone. So I'd pretty much just delete everything from my phone. And then I would go ahead and restore all that data or just, you know, manually, you know, airdrop myself those files. And then I would just go ahead and use my phone as I normally would. Now, the reason why that's so important is because you get to go ahead and basically use a phone that is factory reset. The performance will get a little bit better and the battery life will get better too. And you won't really have to go ahead and do all these other minor things. And maybe your battery life will get exponentially better. It's basically called a clean install at that point. So those are a few different ways to go and fix your battery drain on your iPhone. If it's on iOS 16, if you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.